thought this would be an interesting video for those of you who are shaving buffs like my buddy Jimmy G. This is an antique razor collection that was brought in by the owner of the company I work for. These were his grandfather's razors. So, talking about vintage razors, I'll show you his grandfather's collection, who is at one point was a barber. So, J.A. Henkel. Sullingen and Zwill Ings work. All right, whatever. <laughs> best skills but take a look at this there's their little logo it's a nice scale there get the blade there still sharp very very nice take a look at that vintage old school in the package it looks like this is an instruction manual of sorts or a disclaimer or a warranty card from back in the day. It's like on a waxy paper. Very, very nice. Let's take a look. All right, what else do we have in here? Look at this. Well, this looks like an old school manual clippers. Set of clippers. From back in the day. Let me slow that action down. This head is very similar to a modern head on a clipper with a lot more horsepower. Here's another model. Looks like there's an adjustment mechanism here. Maybe you can tighten it here. And we've got some paint coming off on this model. Oh, look at this. Really, really nice. The scale on this is really nice. Little metal inlay. And interesting, the blade on this has been broken. But very, very nice. All right. What else do we have in here? Here's another razor. Bengal. Looks like a, feels like a wooden scale. Very nice. Still sharp. Another nice straight razor. Wow, hefty. A lot of heft there. I think it says silver spell. Silver spell. Okay. And then there's one in here that's totally melted or broken. Can't open it. Three Street. Really nice collection of old straight razors. And some manual clippers. Let me know, guys, if you have experience with any of these, if you know anything about them. 
but here's the pH de resistance. <laughs> Rolls razor, nice old school package. Oh, look at this inside the package. This is hefty. Oh, wow. So this looks like a, a way to hone, like a wet stone, if you will. And inside this unit, this is the razor. There's a handle here. Hey, well, I couldn't figure out how to attach the handle so it works. Because you put it on and it... I can't figure that out. I don't know how this is supposed to work. And I really don't want to futz about too much with it. If you depress the button on the other side... A whetstone. So this is a strop, and this is a whetstone. And this mechanism here let me know if you know anything about this, guys. Again, I don't want to break it. Just happy to have touched. This antique shaving gear. Beautiful. And inside, here's the blade, the package, inspector's reference, London, England. What do we have here? A little quick start guide as to how you use it. Oh, I was right. really cool this is an instruction manual because it was such a technologically advanced piece of equipment at the time oh and more directions as to how to use this let's see if there's a code on any of these printed goods oh this says may 1952 1952, printed in England. Cool. What's this here? A little pink slip, a number on it. Don't know. Let me know if you've seen anything like this, guys. Or if you have one in your collection. But I thought you'd get a kick out of this. Just a quick... Down and dirty, visit to the past. And I want to thank Greg Demetrio, the consummate gentleman, for allowing me to take a tour of this, to give you a tour of these razors that are really mean something to him. Again, his grandfather was a barber for a spell and owned these razors. So, all right, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, let me know how I'm doing, and I'll see you clowns next time. 
Keep pushing play, y'all. Took you like a shot, thought that I could chase you.